Hi, my name's Joel Damiano, member of DAS Audio's engineering department and head of technical support for live and touring installations. In the last video, we previewed DASnet, what connections are needed and the basic system setup. Today, we're going to run the software and start working with it. After opening the software, we have to ensure all windows are active. Go to the View menu, and under Toolbars, make sure all windows are selected. We also have to check that the COM port the USB converter is assigned to is active with a board rate of 57,600. DASnet is a plug-and-play system. If the units are plugged into the power source and wired correctly, the system performs an auto-scan and adds all the available units to the Device tab. To check this, click on the Auto-Scan button. The software detects the units and displays their connection status. In a matter of seconds, we have all the connected units displayed on screen. Now we can look at the information available for each unit. In this case, we have a Convert 15 and an Aero 40. We only have the basic window to start out with. Here you can see the load status, the voltage output of each amp and its temperature. If you click on the ID, the unit blinks so you can identify it easily. In addition to the basic view, when you click on Advanced View, you can see more parameters, for example, Return to Factory Settings, Mode Type Change, Number of Units, High Frequency Gain, or apply a High Pass Filter. You can also apply a solo device for each unit, or a solo for each of the channels in each system. On the Properties screen, you can also change the name of each unit and organize them in the most logical way. Note that the device window and the parameters are specific to each cabinet model. These parameters are discussed in detail in the user manual of each model. Now let's go back to the system view, because we're going to organize the units by zones. In this case, I'm going to create a zone called Left PA. To do this, we simply click and drag the units to assign them to this zone. We're going to create another zone for the right PA. So, we repeat the process by clicking and dragging the units to this zone. There's an interesting feature that's very useful when working with large systems. Instead of having to change each parameter, unit by unit, we can access the Link Manager. The Link Manager allows us to group parameters together so that when we change a parameter in one unit, the parameter changes in the rest of the units as well. For example, we're going to create a link to apply a high-pass filter in all the units that we specify. Once the link is created, we can see how changing this parameter in one cabinet changes the same parameter in another. So, we've created a link for the high-pass parameter in all these units. As you can see, depending on the unit, there are different parameters that can be grouped together. In the case of the Aero 40, I created another link that changes the number of units in all units at the same time. Once we've linked all the parameters we require in each of the units, we can use another tool to create our custom panel, where we can modify parameters separately. 
With the custom panel, we can design our own work desktops and add faders, buttons, LEDs and other graphics. The goal is to display a graphic representation of our system, customized with all the controls we need. To see how this parameter affects the rest of the units, we have to re-access the operator mode and now we can see that by sliding the gain fader, this parameter is also changed in the rest of the units. Now I've created a custom panel with a LED that tells me all units are connected and working. A fader that allows me to change the gain in the entire system. A mute and a knob to change the unit delay. Once the entire system is configured, DASnet allows us to save a file with a DND extension containing all system information. We're going to save the file so that next time all we need is to open it to show the completed configuration. Finally, a word about safety and different user levels. As an administrator, you can modify all DASnet parameters. However, DASnet enables you to create users with different access levels. These users will only be able to modify specific parameters on units determined by the administrator. Each user can be assigned a different password. Well, that's it for today. In the next video, we'll give you practical examples of more complex configurations and show you how DASnet can help control and monitor them. See you soon.